subject of open policy. What I would like to know is what open policy means to you in your country. Anyone? Yes, please. Политика открытого образования, когда люди имеют доступ ко всем учебникам при помощи различных способов, будь это электронные способы, будь это библиотеки или непосредственно, если это касается даже школ. Any additional comments? Um... We, we understand uh, by open, open access policy, we understand that uh, free access to any educational and content and uh, to culture and whatever. And it should be also available, uh, not only all just available online, but it should be <clears throat> accessible for, uh, for a remixing reusing etc because it's really actual for our country we because 70% um, uh, of our population speak only Kyrgyz language and a lot of uh, books or a lot of different types of contents we have to adapt it and translate to Kyrgyz language and this is translation is one of the types of this uh, uh, rebuilding of that content and usually we need uh, permission from the authors and it's but it's really quite expensive but <clears throat> in uh, uh, just like two months ago in Kyrgyzstan we have adopted a new law amendments into the law on intellectual property rights according to which any content which is um, which user use for his educational purposes, he can do um, uh, those um, uh, remixes and uh, um, adaptations without permissions of the author. So our country is, we are a importers of the knowledge and uh, for us it's, it's um, understandable that we can, uh, we have, we already have we have to adopt a such laws. And how difficult were the laws to be passed <coughs> in your country? Was that very difficult? Did it take very long? Uh, uh, actually, no, that's just a follow-up. I, I was very interested in what she was saying about passing these laws. They can often be quite time-consuming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fine. As a member of him, he was the one behind Introduced. Got it. Okay. Uh, no, he was okay. introducing. Officially, it was introduced by another okay. government agency. Okay. 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 Доступные форматы. В принципе, депутаты поддерживали, никаких э, больших проблем не было. И правительство тоже поддержало, потому что все понимают, что в условиях э, ограниченности финансовых ресурсов нам нужно создавать доступ к образовательным ресурсам. И вот как раз, э, понимая это, депутаты поддержали. Почему? Потому что мы на открытых образовательных ресурсах можем сэкономить бюджетные средства. Поддержано было это все на ура. The next question, what changes do you hope will come based on open policy in your country and why is it important to you? Now that uh, the amendments to the law are adopted, so we are hoping that we can um, further uh, develop this uh, direction. So we hope to uh, work with the universities and uh, with the, uh, uh, the libraries uh, to, um, to have the 
uh, fruits of this work uh, ad adopted and to have the people uh, with disabilities using the, um, the these preferences and the um, uh, how to say, uh, and have uh, the opportunity to have the access to the op uh, mm -hmm. the uh, to the resources and to open educational resources. So uh, we, we have uh, a big work to be done uh, for further, uh, further years and we have some uh, partnerships with the libraries and universities and we are going to, uh, to work closely with them. And uh, also we want to um, incorporate uh, the work with uh, teachers and uh, to uh, to make their um, you know, like communities to exchange the uh, to um, contribute uh, to contribute uh, their work and their um, their uh, works to to f to further develop the uh, Kyrgyz uh, the open educational resources in Kyrgyz language. And uh, we hope that we will get the the, the best results we can mm -hmm. we can uh, in this uh, field. Fabulous. I made already that conclusion during my presentation. Um, uh, the since it's already ten years after the Cape Town Declaration had been adopted. But Kyrgyzstan has started to work with open educational resources just three and a half years ago, but we get all those results very fast. But uh, what I really uh, believe that uh, it is really, mm, uh, it was it, open education, it is a evolutionary phenomenon. I mean, what I, I mean by that is since the time is changing, it, it's a digit, we are living in digital era and everyone are using the internet and exchanging the information, media and photo. So I think it, it is one of the stimulus or one of the incentives also for the people to change the educational content also. So I think that if we start with the open educational resource like 10 years ago, we were not that much successful than uh, we did right now because the governments, teachers, and parents, they understand that uh, changing, uh, 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 sharing of the education using the information technology is, is something what is naturally uh, uh, relevant to the situation what we have. And I, I could, I want to just really encourage other countries. We've just met with Afghanistan and Mongolia that they have not, have not stopped. They, they didn't stop. They have to continue their work in getting uh, most favorable policies for development.